Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Brittany here, aka Empowered Para. And on today's video, I am going to show you guys how I cath without getting out of my wheelchair, without getting undressed, and without getting on the toilet. When I was paralyzed at the age of 13, I went home from the hospital and didn't know how to do anything for myself. I just let my mom calf me and help me do bowel routine and so for four years I had no idea how to calf and I couldn't get undressed either or get my pants on anything like that so calfing was just one of those like terrifying things to me and then when I got older and I turned 18 and I learned how to calf myself eventually I still really stunk at transfers and I really stunk at pulling my pants up in my wheelchair so calfing on the toilet seemed like an insurmountable task to me. Like it was just, it seemed impossible. And so I wanted to figure out a different way for me to be able to cath where I didn't have to get on the bed and lay down, but I also didn't have to get undressed and onto the toilet. And my friend Margaret, who I talked about in my intro video, she's one of the people that just changed my life for the better. She showed me a technique long time ago that I still use today. So I will meet you guys in the bathroom and then I'm going to explain first what the technique is and then I'll show you exactly how I do it. All right guys, welcome to my bathroom. Um, the technique that my friend Margaret taught me when I was 18 is really super simple. You really only need three things. One, a male urinal, or this is the choice that I make. And a number of my friends just use like a water bottle or a Gatorade bottle. I like this because it has a lid. Um, it's just what I've always used. So you can get these at any drugstore. They're like two bucks. Um, I wash mine every once in a while and just rinse it every time that I use the bathroom. Um, then you need a catheter and oops, I dropped one. The ones that I use are um, these speedy cath hydrophilic catheters. Um, you don't need any lube for them so that's why I love them. Um, and then you need a zipper in your pants. So this is the key to not getting undressed clearly. Um, and I just always get a zipper in the crotch. I'm gonna try and get really close up so you can see. Um, you can't even really see it. I have no balance here, so I'm gonna lean over on the tub. Um, it's in there. You can see the, the zipper there, and it goes all the way to the other side, but the seamstress always does kind of like a hidden zipper, so you can't even really see it. You can get ones that are not hidden, and I often get ones that are not hidden. Um, it doesn't really matter to me because my legs are always closed and I'm not showing people my crotch. So um, I just go to the seamstress and get a nine inch zipper. And I've been doing this for so many years. That's the magic number, at least for me, is a nine inch zipper. And I always thought, you know, a zipper in the crotch this way, it's not gonna open like this way. But when you actually open it when you're sitting, um, and I'll show you what I do in a sec. It kind of makes like a tent, like it kind of opens in a, like a circle. So it opens pretty wide in order for you to get your hands in there um, and the catheter. So that's how simple the technique is. Now, before I actually do what I'm gonna do and show you the technique, uh, I have to warn you that I'm actually going to pee in this video. So if anybody is uncomfortable seeing pee come out of a catheter into a jug, affectionately referred to as my pee jug, um, then probably turn the video off now. Hey guys, back in my bathroom. So yesterday I thought I was actually gonna show you guys how I pee um, because I was pretty sure that you couldn't see much, um, but I did a video and you could sort of see a little bit. So I decided that wasn't a good idea. And then I tried filming from behind, but it still was just really weird and awkward. So I'm gonna, explain to you guys uh, what I do uh, with this technique and how I do it and then um, 
and then I'll sort of go through the motions but not actually pee and not actually unzip my pants to, you know, possibly flash you guys. So the first thing that I do before I go to the bathroom is I get everything ready. Um, so I take the, the male urinal out of this nifty little bag that I have for it that I keep in my backpack. And I set it either on the floor or just on the counter wherever I'm peeing. If there's no counter, then I set it on the floor. And then the cool thing about these speedy catheters is that they have this little like sticker on the back. So you rip off the, the little sticker thing and then I open it up a little bit so I can grab the catheter. I washed my hands before this. And that's another thing I do before I tap is I usually wash my hands unless I'm in a place that I can't. Um, and then I just stick it to the counter or the wall just like that and it just hangs there ready for me to grab which is awesome and then I get about eight inches maybe away from the toilet and I put my feet up on the toilet I can do this without putting my feet up on the toilet and just scooching my butt to the edge of my seat but it's easier when your legs are flopped open so that's what I normally do um, I put my foot on the toilet, my right foot first, and then I grab my wheels and I lift and I scooch my butt to the edge of my seat. So about there. And then I put my other foot up. I lift my other foot up, put my other foot beside my other foot and let my legs flop open like this. Um, it works whether I'm wearing shoes or not. It's super helpful when there's a toilet seat on top because if there's no toilet seat, uh, you gotta get pretty good at balancing your feet on the edge of the toilet without them falling in. I've had that happen a number of times and it's not pleasant. So now I kind of know how to put my feet and I kind of let them fall sideways so that they're sitting on the side of my foot um, instead of uh, on the bottom of my foot, if that makes sense. Maybe I'll move the camera. I'm gonna move the camera so you can see my feet better. Give me two seconds. I get up to the toilet about 18 inches and I put my feet up on the toilet and then I put my right foot up and then scooch my butt to the end of my seat and then I let my leg fall and I um, I always let my legs sort of rest on the side. Um, my leg is too close to this counter uh, for this leg to flop over, but normally I let both legs flop over so that the foot is on its side, just like this one. And then I take my wipe and I wipe. I then take my catheter at the very end um, and hold it by the, the lower end. And then I put that alongside the edge of the male urinal and I just hold both of them together like I pinch both of them together and then I have this finger available to sort of like bend the catheter inwards to where I need it so I'm holding the male urinal in my hands pinching it with my fingers and my thumb and then I bend my catheter in. I take my finger and I pull my underwear aside and then I insert the catheter and then I just hold um, the male urinal and um, the catheter while I'm peeing and then when I'm done and it's full I pull the catheter downwards so that the pee drains out of the catheter into the container and doesn't go in back in or in my underwear and then I just set it back up on a counter or um, on the ground and then then I'm done and that's it and then I put my feet back I sit back and that's it all done all right that's the technique start to finish uh, and of course I'm fast at it now uh, because I've been doing it for a really long time there's a lot of coordination that goes into it but once you learn it, it's seriously life-changing. I can pee in a car. I can pee uh, like on the side of the road. I can pee anywhere that, um, you know, I want to. 
Things to consider when you are thinking about using this technique. Uh, length of zipper, I find nine inches to be the perfect length. Um, some people like 12 inches. Actually, I'm pretty sure that it's nine inches. Maybe it's 12 inches. I'm gonna measure just because I don't wanna say something that's not true. I'll be right back. I just measured. It is definitely a nine inch zipper. So nine inches is, uh, I think, the perfect length. Uh, other things to consider are the length of catheter you're going to use. So the tiny little female ones that are this big, those aren't gonna work because they literally just come outside of your urethra once you're cathing. Um, and you can't reach to get it into a bottle or whatever it is. So I use uh, just a normal speedy cath. It's a female one, but it's not the little ones. I know many of my friends use male catheters and they even can use a male catheter to scooch their butt close enough to cath right into the toilet. I haven't tried that. So I might test it out in a YouTube video just to see uh, if I can make that work. Uh, what else to consider? Um, there's sometimes loops on the front of your cushion, like right uh, at the end of your cushion. And for many years, I actually hung the male urinal on that. And I think that's actually why I started using the male urinals because it has that handle on the front. And I used to hang it on the hook uh, or the, the handle on my, my cushion. And then after I used the, the handle so many times just to take my cushion off, uh, my wheelchair, it started to rip and so I had to figure out an alternative because I kept sewing it on and it kept coming off. So I got used to just holding it with my hands, but um, if you don't have a lot of hand dexterity or um, you just aren't coordinated enough to actually hold on to both the catheter and the male, ur and the male urinal as you're putting the catheter in, that's an option as well. Um, I want to give a big shout out to my friend Margaret. Uh, who originally showed me this technique and, you know, made my life so much easier for the past so many years. Um, so big shout out to you, Margaret. Margaret is a quadriplegic, which is amazing because she actually uses this technique uh, and is able to cath independently. So I'm going to do a video with her showing you guys how she actually uses this technique because she doesn't have any uh, use of her fingers and she's still able to cath independently. And I just find that so amazing. So stay tuned for that. Um, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you have not subscribed, please do so. I am so thankful to those of you that have subscribed so far. Um, it means so, so much to me how many people are willing to watch my videos. And uh, I just hope that somebody out there finds this information helpful. Uh, like this video if you found it helpful. Please subscribe and I will catch you real soon on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.